Hello everyone, just like me you've probably been wondering how the necromancy is in the new Valheim beta. And I've been figuring that out. So to cut long story short, the necromancy is a late game thing. So you're not going to be able to have it early on in your playthrough. Now there's a few ways to deal with this. What I'd recommend doing is you should first turn on the cheats. To unlock cheats, what you need to do is right-click on Valheim in the Steam library, and then you need to go Properties, and then in the General tab, you need to add Dash Console. And then when you're in the game proper, what you can do is press F5, and you'll get that console window where you can enter the commands. And when you have the cheats, what you can do is you can do one of two things. You can either spawn in an item set, like item set, and then Mislin's Mage, and if you do that, what you'll get is this big setup I've got here, you know, with like the robes and all that stuff. And it will give you also the bone, the dead razor, which is this item that creates skeletons. There's a problem with it though, it'll only give you the tier 1 version of it. And the tier 1 version is only capable of having one skeleton. But if you use this command, which is spawn skeleton staff one and then five, one for just one of them and then five for maximum quality, you'll get a rank five dead razor. And if you use that, you'll be able to have more minions than you otherwise would be able to have. So let's see how many I can get here. And each skeleton costs me health. So I'm just going to make sure I'm stocked up in food here. And the mana you get is called Aitia or something. And that comes from this specific food here. Or these advanced kinds of foods. So you'll have to spawn those in too and consume them. And you get some if you do use the mage set, but you can also spawn them in individually. So let's keep making skeletons here. So we've got three skeletons now, that's pretty good. See how many more we can get. Not bad. Four skeletons. Let's see how far we can push this thing. Oh! Okay, so it seems like the limit is 5. That's pretty decent. I wonder if I can get an even better quality um, staff. Let's see, can we get number 6? Ah, uh, no. So, it seems like 5 is indeed the highest level. So that means you'll be able to have a max of 5 skeletons. Now these guys, they'll follow you around and they'll kill stuff. So that's pretty good already. But it's no good for guarding your base. So what can you do about that? Well, I've figured out a way of solving that problem. And once again, you need to use the commands, or cheats. So what you can do is let's say you want skeletons on your battlements, right? To defend against attacks and whatever. What you can do is you can spawn in the skeleton, a friendly skeleton, and the command for that is this one, spawn skeleton friendly. And that will put a friendly skeleton in your base. And this guy will just stay here like forever and kind of just wander around. He won't follow you like the other ones will. So it's really good just to have one of these guys as defenders in your base. And I believe you can make as many of them as you want to. And they'll kind of just walk around and hang around. So that solves the problem of like defenders in your base. And this is about as good as you can get it. If you want to be a necromancer without cheats, what you're going to have to do is like grind all the way to the end game and then painfully unlock everything, which is a long and boring, painful process if you're like me, who just likes to have minions straight off the bat and enjoy them. 
So what I would recommend you do is start a fresh character and a fresh game with the beta unlocked, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then spawn yourself in a level 5 uh, skeleton staff, or dead razor. Spawn yourself in a bunch of food that generates you that ITS stuff. And then get to having fun making minions, and spawn in these friendly minions to guard your base. And if you do all that stuff, you'll have a pretty good minions experience in Valheim. This is the best experience so far, because uh, the best experience prior to this was via that mod, which is no longer available. And that mod didn't really permit you to have defenders. You could have more skeletons than this following you, I believe, from memory. But you couldn't have them around your base without kind of doing glitchy, gimmicky stuff, which caused kind of bugged skeletons. But spawning them in like this works really well. To enable the beta, what you need to do is right-click on Valheim in your Steam library, go to Properties, then go down to Betas, and you need to enter in the code, Yes, I made backups, and then click Check Code. And after you've done that, you need to select the beta from the list, and it's called Public Test. It's a public test version of Valheim. And if it worked, what you'll see over in the left side in the Steam library is you'll see Valheim and then in square brackets, public test. So how should we score Valheim's necromancy? I'm giving it a 4.75 out of 10. And that seems pretty brutal. But you've got to consider you can only have five minions. They're only moderately useful. Like, they're pretty strong up until the planes and they start to really get their ass handed to them then you've only got five permanent minions. Sure, you can add in cheats, and then you can have like a whole heap of them guarding your base, but that's not really playing it properly, so I don't consider it sort of valid. Then when it comes to diversity, it only gets a two out of 10, because as far as I can tell, there's only two types of minion you can have. Skeleton warriors with a melee weapon, and skeleton archers, that's it. So if Valheim wants to have a better score from me, the first thing it needs to do is allow you to have more minions selling you. So you can jack up the plentiful minion score. They need to make the minions more useful overall. Maybe make them scale, something like that. So that they're useful throughout the whole game. They need to have all minions be permanent. Right now all minions are permanent, which is good. But there needs to be more of them. And then they also need to improve the diversity a whole bunch. Then it can get a much higher score. So yeah. That's how you do it. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. And let me know what you think of Valheim's new necromancy and whether you think it's worth it. What you think should be done to improve it. I personally think you should be able to have some kind of minion straight off the bat because not all of us like to run around like spanking people with swords and whatnot. Some of us like to have some kind of minion gameplay from the get-go and that unfortunately just isn't possible in Valheim. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next Necromancy video. Thanks for watching.